Hi YouTube, this is Hannah Love coming to you today, also known as Lovely Lady here on YouTube. And I want to discuss the benefits of spirituality. I have the top three benefits that I'm going to point out and then I'll, I'll come with a few others. Uh, before we get started, let me remind you to breathe easy. All things are possible. Okay, so my first and first, uh, foremost, um, I would say the top benefit of spirituality, in my opinion, is a free mind. No guilt, no, no feelings of, um, mm, no feelings of, uh, of cognitive dissonance. Sort of like when you're not totally in alignment with what's going on, you're doing something, but you're not totally in agreement with it you're either doing it out of tradition or compulsion or a, a, just out of obligatory duty or you know something of this nature is the reason why you're doing it and it's not necessarily because you want to do it like it's some it's not necessarily that um the other thing is out of the box meaning people can't just put you over in the oh okay you you're a muslim and and you 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 a jew and you you're a christian and you you know, you're not in that box you're totally out of the box so people can't just categorize you they have to kind of get to know you they have to learn something about you before they can uh I would say classify you, but I don't. I don't want to be. I, I would say before they can sort you into a box or what have you, they they literally have to get to know you. <laughs> um, they can't just make any uh, overt assumptions about you. Now, of course, people make assumptions based on gender, based on race, based on other things, but they won't be able to make an assumption based on religion. So at least that'll be one, one uh, assumption that you can get rid of. So you will not be able to be categorized. Um, the other thing, um, I would say the next thing on the list, the third thing. So first we had, you have a free mind, no guilt. The second thing was you're not in a box. And the third thing is you're free to explore what works for you. You're free to explore what I guess you're free to go with with um with 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 your intuition. You you can listen to it, which brings me to the fourth reason that I think spirituality is a great um a great uh walk to uh start in in your life um is because you'll become more in tune with your inner voice, that intuition, that that inner voice that speaks to you and tells you don't go left go right or that voice that says everything is going to be okay you know um yeah so those are the, those are my top four things i would say free mind no box you're not put in a box you're free to explore um what works for you and what doesn't and um it, there's no there's no um like you know oh all all Muslims do this. All Christians do that. All you know, you're free to explore what what works for you. And the um, fourth thing was your intuition. You're free to listen to it. You you can tune more into it. Um, there's a lot of ways that you can tap into your intuition if you've already. Some people are somewhat have somewhat just like tuned that side of them out. You know, so um, due to religion, because religion comes with usually comes with books and sets of rules, you no longer have to really pay attention to that inner voice too much because that inner voice is being told what to think. Right. That inner voice is being told, OK, these are the Ten Commandments, just so to speak. Or, okay, these are the, this is the Bible. If you have any questions, go to the Bible and ask the Bible. It's Or ask the Quran or ask the, whatever it is, the Talmud or whatever the book is that you're following. Um, these books will now, these books uh, will now not be 
uh, let's say you could still use the books if you like, but they won't be, you won't be chained to them. You won't be like ball and chain to the books. You can actually live your life in a way that suits you. You can actually choose different paths in your life and see what works. Or you could actually make your decision based on other factors other than just, you know, the religious factors or this is what you should do. And then if you don't do it, now you got to feel guilty. Now you got to feel like you know, there's impending doom or something like this looming over you. Um, so I think those are the benefits of spirituality. There are many other benefits. I would say it's healthy because you, there's, there's a lot of things that encumber us in life, right? There's a lot of rules. There's a lot of, um, you know, prejudgments, there's a lot of, um, just, there's a lot of things that encumber us. And why add more to that if you don't have to? Why choose something that's so, like, convoluted and complicated if you don't have to? Um, why not, why not explore life? I think life has been meant to be explored. Um, Having a book that tells you what to do, how to live, where to go, uh, who to marry, um, and all of this stuff, it kind of takes away from the joy of life, I would say, because you're no longer exploring life, but instead you are simply just acting out a role that whatever that religion tells you your role is, you 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 act accordingly to that role. So in other words, the book is your script and you act accordingly. You follow your script. So yeah, I think spirituality um, kind of like undoes the, it, 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 uh, how can I put it? It just, it just takes you out of that whole, that whole arena, you know, and it puts you in a, open fill where you can, there's no arrows, there's no nothing. You can look around you and see which way you are called to, what calls you most. Um, and I think that in essence is uh, the true benefit of adopting a life of spirituality. Now, yes, I know that there are different paths even in spirituality, that one can take. But I think that these paths are more open. These paths are more free form. I like free form, um, where you can you can adopt the path and then you can adapt it to what to what fits your life, what fits your situation. And things like that. So you adopt the path, a spiritual path, if that's what you want to do. And then once you're on that spiritual path, if you find something that doesn't quite suit you or fit into your life, then you can adapt it and not feel guilt, not feel cognitive dissonance about it. So in that sense, I would say that it's a great it's a great path to follow. Spirituality is, um, in my opinion, the most healthy. So in summary, I would like to say that um, I believe spirituality is very healthy, um, especially when we talk about the mental and whatever's affecting you in the mental is also appearing in the physical um, it will express itself in your physical body. So if your thoughts are discombobulated and disconjuncted, it will express itself in your body. Um, in conclusion, I also want to let you know that I do not, I do not hold anything against religion. I do not, um, I do not have any, um, overreaching opinions about it. If you are in a religion, that is fine. If it's working for you, excellent. 
If it's not, why not consider spirituality? Sometimes I believe religion can be a gateway to spirituality and that um, once you explore religion and you break out of all of those concepts and you break beyond the veil or you break out of your cocoon, you get your wings and you're able to fly and spirituality is those wings that you acquire once you break out of the cocoon of religion, if that is what you want to do. If it's not, you can remain. If that is uh, suitable for you, then good for you. I have no opinion one way or the other. I believe in a higher power. How we get to that higher power, I believe there's many paths to that higher power. Um, I would like to thank you for listening to my video. Please uh, thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. I have a uh, lineup of videos and I have a book review that will be coming up next. And it's a fellow YouTuber. So come back. Read mine, no guilt. The second thing was you're not in a box. And the third thing is you're free to explore what works for you. You're free to explore what I, I guess you're free to go with with um with 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 your intuition you you can listen to it which brings me to the fourth reason that i think spirituality is a great um a great uh walk to uh start in in your life um is because you'll become more in tune with your inner voice that intuition that that inner voice that speaks to you and tells you don't go left go right or that voice that says everything is going to be okay you know um yeah so those are the, those are my top four things i would say free mind no box you're not put in a box you're free to explore um what works for you and what doesn't and um it, there's no there's no um like you know oh all all muslims do this all christians do that all you know you're free to explore what what works for you and the um fourth thing was your intuition you're free to listen to it you you can tune more into it um there's a lot of ways that you can tap into your intuition if you're you can listen to it which brings me to the fourth reason that i think spirituality is a great um a great uh walk to uh, start in, in your life um, is because you'll become more in tune with your inner voice, that intuition, that that inner voice that speaks to you and tells you, don't go left, go right. Or that voice that says, everything is gonna be okay, you know? Um, yeah, so those are, the, those are my top four things. I would say free mind, no box, you're not put in a box. You're free to explore um, what works for you and what doesn't. And um, it, there's no, there's no um, like you know. Oh, all all Muslims do this. All Christians do that. All you know. You're free to explore what what works for you. And the um, fourth thing was your intuition. You're free to listen to it. You you can tune more into it. Um, there's a lot of ways that you can tap into your intuition if you've already some people are somewhat have somewhat just like tuned that side of them out you know so um due to religion because religion comes with usually comes with books and sets of rules you about it so in that sense i would say that it's a great it's a great path to follow spirituality is um in my opinion the most healthy so in summary i would like to say that um i believe spirituality is very healthy um especially when we talk about the mental and whatever's affecting you in the mental is also appearing in the physical um it will express itself in your physical body so if your thoughts are discombobulated and disconjuncted it will express itself in your body um in conclusion i also want to let you know that i do not 
I do not hold anything against religion. I do not. Um, I do not have any um, overreaching opinions about it. If you are in a religion, that is fine. If it's working for you, excellent. If it's not, why not consider spirituality? Sometimes I believe religion can be a gateway to spirituality and that um, once you explore religion and you break out of all of those concepts and you break beyond the veil or you break out of your cocoon, you get your wings and you're able to 